Hello, uh, we are So Fresh and we are here in New Jersey um, at the Pyramid with Jarrell Carter. Faded, it ain't nobody leaving and so everybody wakes the show up. Party, 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 girl, we all getting stupid. And I'm feeling your dress and all, but you should fucking lose it. I'm attracted to that ass. Now show me how you move it. You could p -p poke it out. Now toot it, toot it. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Okay, well, my name is Jarrell Carter. I'm the founder and CEO of Carter Wisdom Management. I'm 23 years old, born in Brooklyn, raised in New Jersey. Yeah. That's but, cool. <laughs> and so, um, like, for those who don't know, like, what do you specialize in? What do you do? What is your, like, what do you do? <laughs> I do entertainment management. Right, okay. For artists, songwriters, producers. At some point, we want to move on to other entertainment segues, like, maybe like modeling and actors and stuff like that. That's cool. So, uh, like, how did the idea come about? When did you first decide that this is what you wanted to do? When I graduated. When you graduated? Like, I don't know. I wanted to be a basketball player, like, growing up as a kid. Right, okay. But then, like, music has always been in my family. Mm -hmm. So, one day I was just literally just sitting on the bed and I just texted my boy, Linnell, like, yo, we should start a management company. And him not knowing no better, he like, yo, let's do it. I guess he thought I was joking. <laughs> and then like a week later, I came up with a name. And then a month later, we got it LLC'd and here we are now. Sounds good to me. <laughs> what were your views of what you wanted at the time? I just wanted to get money <laughs> and listen to music. Could you think about working a job where you get to listen to music all day? Sounds perfect. It is. So is that still what you think of it now? Like. Is it still the same views you have on it now? Is that still what you're doing it for? Or? No. No? Because I ain't make no money. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, through the whole process, like, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned? Uh, mm, that the game is more based on networking and who you know. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> it's, it just feels like when you're new, people don't want to give you a chance right. unless you have an affiliation with you. You've got Jay-Z, has he helped you with a lot of things, I suppose? No. Not really? Not one bit. Really? So you've done it, like, yourself, is that what you wanted to do? You just wanted to do it yourself for the reasons that you wanted to do it for, I suppose? Yes, I don't go for him for advice or anything, I do everything on my own. That's super cool. That's why it's so hard to get money, because <laughs> I don't use him as an affiliation, so people are like, who is this guy, Jarrell? I don't right, want to talk yeah. to him, he's just a nobody, but they'll understand. As far as business goes, right, okay. Kevin Lyles told me about three weeks ago, <laughs> basically, it only takes one person to make you hot, mm. to make your company big. So as, as long as you have that one person to do everything and get you the way you be, now people are going to want to come to you. Right. So totally. You just got to find that one special person. I found him. Serious? Yes. His really? name's Aaron Fresh. Power 105 one is the Breakfast Club. We have a special guest in the building. Young Aaron Fresh. Yeah. Aaron Fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now where are you? What's the situation now? Listen, now you, you, came in, you came in with some 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 uh, some friends to the room. Yeah, 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 definitely. You know, Jarrell Carter, that's the homie right there. We definitely. Um, I got a whole team I'm putting together now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to hear a little something? something? Uh, yeah. Um, this is my single, Real Loving. Said we in here now. It's been a long time coming. This a new day now. So I'ma make you feel something And you ain't never gotta worry The stuff gonna be popping, you know what I mean And I won't ever be in a hurry Already told you that I'm down for life, yeah, be. You ain't gotta act so in a rush Cause I love it, baby, when you Someone I know by the name of Vlad Called me, was like, yo, I know this kid named Aaron Fresh And he wants to, um he wants to meet you maybe you can manage him he had management before and then it didn't sink in because i'm like aaron fresh sounds familiar right come to find out a couple months ago the people he was working with before played me aaron's music and was looking for my producers and songwriters to work with him like once i met him he came in he was singing and dancing and doing all this in the office <laughs> and then from that minute on i knew i wanted to manage him that's, that's really cool. So like, what advice would you give to someone who's starting in the music industry, starting something new? 
I mean, I wouldn't want to give them any advice as on what goes on in the industry. Right. Because they should learn it on their own. Yeah. Because if you I teach agree. them everything, they're not going to go through the growing pains and not really <laughs> be able to grow because you already told them everything before they had to experience it. Yeah. But as far as anyone trying to do anything with their life, I would say never lose sight of the reason why you're doing something. Because it's hard to get back on track. Yeah. If you lose sight and then you mess up, it'd be hard for you to get back. Because now you're like, damn, how do I get back to where I was? So. Wise words. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.